Hey everyone, this is Crystal coming to you with another sewing project on turning your long sleeves into a short sleeve. Sewing with knits can be a little intimidating, but for me, I have to get ready for this Texas heat. As you can see, I'll be working with two three quarter length sleeve shirts. Now, I'm not using any special equipment or a double needle today. I'm just basically using my sewing machine. Okay, so here I've lined up my sleeves and I'm matching them on the seam. You can find another short sleeve shirt that you can lay on top just to get an idea on the length of the sleeve that you like. Now after I made the line of how long I want my sleeve to be made, I'm going to make another line 3 fourths of an inch under that for my seam allowance. Now if you prefer a cap sleeve, you're going to mark a line that's a little higher and that comes into a slight curve towards the end seam. I'm measuring both sleeves at the tops and bottoms just to make sure they're both even. Okay, so I press shirt one, it's ready to be sewn. I'm gonna put that aside and start shirt two. Repeating the same steps. All right, both pressed and ready to sew. Now I'm pointing out a few good stitches to use for a knit, but I'm not exactly wanting to use a zigzag stitch, so I'm looking for something a little more decorative. Now you may have to look through your manual to see which stitches are good for stretching, or just play around with some knits to see which stitches work best for stretch. Now I've chose this bungee-like type stitch and my length is a 1.8 to 2 and then I have a width of 5.5. Now I'm definitely going to practice on that sleeve piece before I get started. I'm starting at the bottom of the sleeve just past the bulk of the seam to avoid a possible jam. Now that my seam allowance is 3 fourths of an inch, I'm also going to sew at 3 fourths of an inch. My stitch should be wide enough to cover the opening edge. Okay, it's done. Now let's get a closer look. Now if you did a good job matching your thread colors, you got a really clean look unless you prefer your thread colors to pop. Truth be told, I had plans of doing one shirt with a double needle, so I had went to the store and bought one needle, brought it home, got ready to sew, and it broke. So, I just wanted you to see that with your machine, you can do it faster, easier, and cheaper, and it'll look professional. So that's it. 